Hello ladies and gentlemen, friends, Stack here, and welcome to the start of a brand new hot seat for the Frozen Realm. This hot seat, as is obvious by the thumbnail, well not the thumbnail, but well, the thumbnail and this image in front of you, is the Stormcloak Rebellion, and it was well, for the first time ever on this channel, and on this hot, on this Discord server, doing a Elder Scrolls Total War hot seat. And of course, the theme is the Stormcloak Rebellion in the 4th era. So, a quick one for those that are uninitiated on hot seats. Many of you clicking this video probably aren't too familiar with hot seats, but I'll, go for, I'll do a quick little explanation. Um, most of it is self explanatory, but for those that are, you know, unfamiliar, essentially you send your turn back and forth to each uh, to a set of players. You upload your turns, you upload your screenshots, so associated with battles. So, as the attacker, you can only attack, you can't defend in hot seats. Um, so, the screenshots of any past battles will be sent to you. And it will be on a single channel. So just if I use this one as an example, this is the information chamber. So you have four channels on the Discord server. That is exactly where the hosts are not hosted anywhere else. They're not hosted in Turbo Center. They're only hosted here. Um, as for any, as for how it all works, I'll explain. So at the very top, you have a little uh, message saying with an image usually. Uh, that's why I tend to do an image. Um, and then the name of the hot seat. Then you have a bit of a prelude, so explanation of what's going on. Uh, then you have the top bit is the admin, the player list, and it tells you all the player list down here. The turn order is in the submission channel, it's a separate area. Some explanation of how to install like a mod, for example, or what like, settings to use. Uh, you also in some parts of RP law, RP rules, uh, so rules that you have to follow as ping ping and what faction you're playing. Um, you have military rules, so your rules so for this hot seat, for example, will be an auto resolve hot seat. You can only fight uh, your battles in auto resolve. However, you can use mana resolve. Unlike this hot seat, you can use mana resolve when fighting against the AI. So the rebels, dungeon faction, the undead, um, any of or any of or a faction that's been turned AI for whatever reason. Uh, you also have diplomacy rules and your map rules. Diplomacy rules basically you can't attack anyone. Or you have like a basically. You can't attack anyone unless they've played their turn to in like the first game. And you've got a few regional aggression packs and whatnot. And you've got map rules, agent rules, discord rules, just in terms of how to well, how, how you manage the discord and whatnot, what to do. Uh, information, so you have a bit of general information of how to when to join the hot seat. And you have a little map preview here. The map previews get updated every 15 turns. So for example, a map reveal for turn 40 will be sent out at turn 45. It's a bit of a... There's a slight like five turn delay just to allow so it's not like you can see what people are doing immediately. So you have a bit of time to go back. So yeah, that's basically how it works. Your submission channels where you upload your turns and screenshots. So there's an example here of a battle between Castle Doom and Moria. Basically, you have to show the pre-battle screen, which is this bit here. And it's nice. I do prefer people to show this as well, just to see where the banners are. But I'm not overly bothered if you don't. And you clear victory, and you know, that just shows you the picture screen as well. And the same, and you also do it for agents. There's an agent example here somewhere. Here we go. So if you're doing uh, sabotage, you're attacking that. I think it's uh, if it's clear he's done that one. And um, his mouse is over it. And you save the naval battles as well. You show screenshots for all those. And oh, I'll quickly show you as well. The turn order is in a pinned message at the very top of the channel, which shows the turn order. So what turns orders your turns will go in. Uh, Lobby Square is a channel just for chatting about uh, general stuff for the hot seats. I do prefer people to chat. I don't know what the hell that's going on. But I do prefer people to chat in the Lobby Square rather than talk in submission. I'd like to because other people are going to lose their turns if people start having full-blown conversations and whatnot. And you've got Diplomacy Stand. So this Diplomacy Stand is basically a bit of RP. There's more RP on this hot seat, which is the Stainless Steel one. Uh, there's quite a fair bit of RP, especially from Big Kiwi. He's done an awful lot of RP. So uh, props to him. Uh, some of his RP is really good as well. Um, so yeah, I hope that understa is understandable for people that are completely new to hot seats. But uh, I'm also not the only server that does hot seats. There's also the Hot Seating Hub, the YWM Clan, the Folwark do their own sort of hot seats, and the Total War HQ as well. Uh, if there are any other ones I'm, that I'm not aware of, then I'm, I'm not aware of them. Uh, Total War Center, I think, still do hot seats, but I think they're sort of fizzing out now. But um, I don't really keep in touch with Total War Center. I remember the hot seat community with the counseling system. But uh, I don't really deal with... I, it's Jadley that deals with the hot seats over there. I don't get involved. Not interested. <laughs> uh, so there's a bit of an information. So, I'll read out the prelude. This is the Elder Scrolls Total War. Um, unofficial patch, 4th era Stormcloak Rebellion with a scenario focused on all of Tamriel. Now, there was something I will add as well. Um, actually, no, I didn't mention. But yeah, there was a vote, of course, for um, this, uh, this um, scenario. 
um, and the vote was the fourth error. Now, it was the fourth error for Elder Scrolls Total War, the main version, but unfortunately, I, and I was unaware of this because I just didn't think this would be a problem, but actually, the uh, for Elder Scrolls Total War, the hot seat feature for the fourth era is only available for the third era, so you have to like mod around, change some things around the files about. I couldn't bother to do that, so I just went with the other official patch. Which didn't win the vote, but the fourth error did, and it's the exact same error, just with added factions. So I thought, yeah, that's fine. Anyway, so this is set around the same time as the Civil War in Skyrim. Tensions are growing between the weakened Imperial Empire and the growing power of the Isle of Mary Dominion. War will surely come. From the Elves of Morrowind, Valenwood, and the Som Somerset Isles, the Orcs of New Orsama, the Khajiit of Elsewhere, the Argonians of the Black Marsh, the Proud Nords Imperials from both Skyrim and Cyrodiil, and the Bretons of High Rock. Will we help restore the Tamriel Empire to its former glory, or join with the Elves and bring a new order of non-humans, or will you bring both realms to ruin and forge your own kingdom or empire and dominate the continent? So below is a playlist, and there's also a bunch of different like details and stuff like that. These all are required for you to install and play the mod. You all must have the same version of the sub mod, otherwise the Kotzi would just not work. Um, like you won't be able to load up the terms basically. So make sure you install it properly. Um, if you have any issues with installation, just let me know, or just let anyone of the admins know, or anyone in general, I'm sure will help you. Um, so essentially the hot seat, because otherwise we will require 22 players. And getting 22 players, you may think, oh, that's not too bad. Um, it is. <laughs> um, it's nice to have hot seats with a lot of players, but at the same time, it's a hell, is hell on earth to manage. Uh, especially when people leave, people join, leave, join, leave. It's a, such a it's such a hard thing to do with 20 players. And as someone who does this back in COVID, that was not a problem. Now, no, <laughs> I'm not doing that again. But uh, so basically, what happened is that the so, so one player will play two factions. Now those two factions, so basically the two factions themselves uh, are will be very much like. They won't be the exact same faction, so you won't be playing as Nords together. You'll be playing, so if you're playing as an Imperial faction, you'll be playing as another faction that's like an Elf or an Orc or something completely different. Or Khajiit. Um, so it won't be the same faction. You won't be playing as two identical factions just with a different manner and same sort of stuff. It will be completely different. And I will say, of course, that um, with the two factions, you will have uh, 48, 48 hours each. To play one faction. And then. So in total with. It would be like 96 hours in total. You do not require any extension. For 96. If you're already. If your turns. Per you know, per turn. Take 46 hours. Uh, 96 hours sorry. Um, then you don't need any more any more time. If particularly you're on holiday. Then just let us know. And we can sub you for you. Or perhaps see, perhaps by then. You might have a possible ally. To sub your faction for you. Keep in mind, of course, that generally admins will not have the same skill of playing as you. You may be admins; it may actually be better than you, or they may be worse than you. So, if you expect them to play to the same ability as you, that just isn't possible. So, there you go. Uh, no, uh, with regards to installation, if you have any other issues as well, contact Jadley. He's also the creator of the mod. You can find him on the Hot Scene Hub and uh, other discords. I think he's not here. Um. So yeah. So we have to go now and we go through each of the factions. So essentially the main, like, I know people have questions about this, but the rules are not done yet. I'm just scrolling for that. But the rules, other information are currently work in progress. So eventually it will look like uh, this here um, from this bit down. Um, generally that's not done yet, um, but eventually it will be by the start of this hot seat. So this hot seat hopefully will start on the 20th. So this video will go up today. Um... Actually, no, I got today, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't know why I put the 13th, uh, the 20th, because that's not true at all. But yeah, we'll go up the 13th, the hot seat, according to everything according to plan. So on the 13th of April, the hot seat should hopefully begin. Now, I may possibly allow, if I know people are joining but are holding off on a few things and whatnot, then I may allow you about allow a bit of extra time with regards to joining. Um, but generally, the rules, but I know there probably were some people who were like, oh, well, I'm not joining until the, the rules and information are done. Um, that's up to you. I'm not holding on. I'm not waiting for you. So if the uh, slots will fill up and you haven't got a shot in because you were waiting for the the rules to be done, then that's just that's up to you. That's not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna like remove someone because you decide to wait. So the, the hot seat will just start. Um, the main rules to note is it will be auto resolve against players, manual resolve against AI. Um, then you have 48, 48 hours per turn to complete your faction. Um, and that's essentially it. 
Um, there's a few like, um, basically the, regards to video conditions, you must complete these short video conditions for each faction, as well as being never really any other faction to submission and becoming the uh, the winner of the hot seat, of course. But um, but I will go through the faction and I will show off each of the faction's victory conditions. It won't be the long victory conditions. The long victory conditions are absolutely massive for Elder Scrolls, so it will just be the short victory conditions. Now we'll go through and talk go through each faction as we go on, but I'll go quickly go through the playlist and the pairings. Um, so essentially, it's basically it's an alliance title for the first pairing. And you'll control two factions. Um, and that'll be it. Now, of course, gone through and made sure that the factions do not like the... Uh, for example, the video conditions do not like... So, like, say, for example, the Tamriel Empire doesn't have to... Has to, like, uh, fight Sharnhelm in their video conditions. I've made sure I've gone through and checked that that is not the case. Uh, so, essentially, a little bit of explanation on the actual, like, player list and the pairings. So, the player list is all displayed here. The turn order is here. So, it's a completely separate entity. I don't know why I've got that there. Ignore that. But the turn order is a completely separate entity. So the Tamriel, so the turn order is here. Do not look at the playlist and think, oh well, my turn's after after this one. No, it isn't. It's 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 completely different. And I've noticed, I'm pretty sure, uh, from what I can see, that I don't think any of the factions and whatnot will like overlap. So you won't play your next faction straight after. You'll have a bit of peace and space before that happens. Uh, some, of course, the turns might come around quicker than others. Some it might not. Um, depending on where you are in turn order. So this is the turn order then, pretty much. The only other faction that isn't playable is the Undead, because the Undead are... Uh, it's... Uh, yeah, I, uh, and also because it gives us like an extra faction. And also I feel that the Undead are just, just... just They're too scattered about the world, and I feel they'd be better for an AI faction. And you've got the Rebels, Dungeons, obviously they won't be playable. I did contemplate possibly playing as the Undead as an AI, as the Admin faction, but I just thought that probably isn't really much point. The Undead are just meant to be Rebels, just to be killed off, pretty much. Um, so we go through the different uh, packs and factions and whatnot. The first title is the title of the faction. Then I go on to the race and of what land they have and what province or capital city. And then I go into the title. And this bit down here is the name of your faction leader. And then below is open. So when a player takes that, then the app symbol here, the what I've got here, will pop up underneath. As of right now, I'm the only admin. Whether or not anyone else will join and give me a hand, I don't know yet. But for now, that is fine. So the first pairing to go through is the Union of the Dragon and the Stag. So I've also made sure as well that the bigger, if you control a big faction like Tamriel Empire, for example, who control a vast part of the map, so they're a very big faction. Sharnhelm, their um, other faction, it only, only controls one province. So that's the note there. So we go for the pairings then. So you have the Union of the Dragon and the Stag. The Dragon being the Tamriel Empire banner and the Stag being the banner of the Sharnhelm, which is actually quite uh, thematically a banner of the White Stag, which is, for, which is of course my banner for YouTube. So you have the Tamriel Empire, the Kingdom of Sharnhelm, that's the Union of the Dragon and the Stag. The next one then is the Alliance of the Reachman and Dunmer. Now the Clans of the Reach aren't actually usually meant to be playable, but I've made them playable for this. Um, the only issue I think that might possibly be an issue that I may change if it's asked for is that Madnak doesn't have much authority, which I think is just because he's been in jail for years. Mayor of the Reachmen have probably lost confidence as him as a ruler. So maybe that's a part of the lore, I don't know. But if it's uh, but if it's an issue for the player, I'm happy to change that for you to give you a bit more authority. Um, maybe not 10 authority, but, you know, he's decent. About 5 is probably enough. <laughs> As if the Alliance of the Reachmen and Dunmer, which is the Great House Dress, Clans, and the Clans of the Reach. I'll go for each faction so you can see what you're looking at, but I'll just read them out for now. Uh, the Covenant of the Saxilil and the Daggers. The Saxilil being the... Uh, another name for the Argonians. So the Argonians of Hellstrom and the tribes of Blackmarsh and the Kingdom of Daggerfall. Dagger being daggers, obviously. <laughs> and the Reachman being the Reachman and Dunmer being the dress. I couldn't really find the banner. I didn't really know what the banner of that was. I could have done Mammoth and whatever dress was, but it's fine. The next one then is the Pact of the Rose and Ash. So the tribes of Ashlanders and the Kingdom of Wayrest. You're on separate sides of the map you're in Morrowind and once in the high rocks you're further enough away from each other it's the same with black marsh you're like um whole <laughs> black marsh in the southeast dagger falls in the northwest uh clans of reach and dress aren't too far from each other but they're they're like skyrims in between them and sharnhelms of course quite far from cyrodiil um so yeah the king of Warriors and ashlanders so you've got the league of the gold chalice and the scarabs which is the king of evermore and the redoran again you have skyrim in between you so you're further enough away the Entente of the Fungi and the Griffon. 
so which is a great house Telvani and the high king of the Somerset Isles fun guy being Telvani Griffin being the banner of the Somerset Isles for anyone wondering and the gold chalice is Evermore banner and red is the scarab banner and Rose being the Wearer's Banner and Ash being Ashlanders, obviously. <laughs> um, these names aren't like meant to be law accurate or anything, they're just for a bit of fun. I'm not like I'm not gonna go deep into the law. And generally some of the alliances I've set up probably aren't too law friendly, but they're basically just alliances I, in my own way of trying to make the game interesting for you guys. So yeah, Telvani and some stars. The next one is the Treaty of the Claw and Wood. So you have the Kingdom of the Aaron and Aquina and Kingdom of Vain Wood, which is not too far from each other, but you're a very different faction. You're one's an elf, one's a Khajiit, so you're very different. And of course, uh, Dunma. Well, I mean, that's two the same sort of the elves, but at the same time, one's um, Dunma and one's the high elves. So you're and you're further enough away for it to be different sort of campaign. Uh, next is the Concordat of the Sugar and the Almeri, which is a slight reference to the Moon Sugar and the Almeri being the Council of the Falmor, which is of course the Almeri Dominion. So the Council of the Fowl and the Platine, again, not too far from each other, but at the same time, again, you're very different. You're Elves and Khajiit, so it's different. Uh, next is the Confederation of the Wolf and the Moon. So you have the Nords, which is Halfinger, which is, of course, um, uh, how can I explain? Uh, Toreg's sons, basically, you're, who you're playing as. Well, they're not come of age yet, but you're basically playing as his, the Western Skyrim, essentially. So Solitude, Morphal, um, Markarth, and Whiterun. And, um... Is it uh, Valkyrie as well, yeah. Uh, enjoying the Confederation as part of it is Huffinger and Four Bears. So, similar men faction, but again, your one's Nord and one's Redguard, so again, very different. Um, and then the next one is the Federation of the Scimitar and Bear. So, the Red Guards of Hegath, which is the Clown of the Crown. And you have the whole of East March, which is, of course is Ulfric Stormcloak. And the uh, Nords in the East. So, White Run, not White Run. Windhelm, sorry, uh, Riften, uh, Winterhold, Dawnstar, and Riften. Did I mention, did I say Riften? And Iverstead as well. Um, I couldn't quite fit them on the on the whole, like, fit this whole, like, playlist thing. It's Discord's uh, file limit, unfortunately, or text limit, really. Uh, it's next is the Coalition of the Mal of Malachite and Temple. So the Clans of Orsama and Great House Indriel. So that brings us to a close. Again, any other information will be completed on the 13th of April, and that's hopefully when the hot seat will start. In theory, hopefully, <laughs> about on the time this goes up, so this could be about six, seven o'clock, possibly. So yeah, uh, moving on then to the actual faction on the actual game itself, and I'll show off each faction and I'll show off these short video conditions for you. Now I have had issues with the past with it crashing as I go through each faction on the hot seat, but hopefully it should be fine. Um, but yeah, so it goes uh, for those that are just happy to with the, what I've done now and just want to you know, happy with the information. Then it's pretty simple. Just go to the description of the video. And you'll click on and you'll find a link for the Discord. So click on that. And that will of course take you to the um, the Discord server. And then once you're in, you'll go into the welcome hall. Um, and you'll just appear here, basically. And we'll welcome you in, probably, I imagine. <laughs> That's why it might. Either I'll welcome you in or somebody else might, who knows. <laughs> so once you're in, just scroll down and you'll find the Stormcloak Rebellion. And that, then jump into the lobby square and press on that and just say I would like um, so you can choose three uh, so state your three faction parents of, in order of preference so if you like so there's three factions you have to choose you, if there's if this is one then you can just pick one but obviously it would be a bit hard for me to give it out to other people um, so just cho choose so say if you want to play the three here just select all three and say the Tamara Empire is the one that sounds more appealing to you then put them put the uh, Union of the Dragon first so basically state these ones these ones and these ones don't you don't need to state all that don't state all this it's just too much the union of the dragon stag is fine you, that's all you need to do and just put that and these three as well that's all i don't need anything else <laughs> just so i know i just want to be clear on who you want to play as if it's like two you can put three it's a, you know i would advise you to put three but if you can't think of any a third one you can just put two it's up to you uh so yeah uh we can make full use of the map and all factions uh, we're playing two factions or a possible three depending on the availability. So it was going to be three, but I can cut that out now because it's not going to be now. Uh... Yeah, I can just take that out. Because there is... Oh, yeah. There's not one to do. Oh, whoops. There you go. There you go. Okay, right, let's jump into the game and I'll show off the the map. And not really the map, but you sort of... I assume people have probably seen the map. 
But I'll show off each faction and the video conditions that you'll have to put up with in the brief little look at uh, of their faction. Right, I'll jump into that. And for those that are happy with what you've seen so far, then I shall see you in the hot seat. But for those interested and in, um, want to see the video conditions, for those who haven't quite downloaded the mod and want to be want to see what your sort of what sort of video conditions you're looking at for each faction. So the video conditions you have to fulfil the short video condition to win the game, um, and then after then you will have to just beat any other faction that just contests your victory ship basically. Um, but yeah, I'm spending a bit of time with the rules because there's been a lot of issues in the last couple of hot seats with questions to the rules uh, and issues because again the rules I've made a couple years ago now and some things have changed in the last year and a bit so I'm going to go through and spend a bit of time extra time going through and making sure the rules are, are completely uh, are proof are basically really good and aren't any issues with them at all and uh, won't be brought up and end this conversation but I figured it's probably a time to have a little look at it uh, if people are bringing up some issues with the rules then it's probably a good time to sit down and have a look and maybe look at a second rule um a rule, second rule thing. So yeah, so, so I'm going to spend more time doing that. So that's why I'm not doing it now. I don't really have time. I also want to go record some Empire after this. So I don't want to spend too long with this. <laughs> but that's all for now. Let's jump into the game and then we shall be done. Okay, here we are. Let's jump into the hot seat campaign, which is pretty simple to get to. It's just a few buttons and there you are. And it tells you a bit about the scenario features as well. So I'll let you read through that if you'd like to. You can pause the video. Now, I don't know if it doesn't depend where the actual dragon, with the, um, but of course, if the, um, yeah, if Alduin turns up, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, we guess we'll find out in the hot seat if Alduin suddenly shows up. So you've got the Tamriel Empire here, then, which is currently known as the Mead Empire, but it's the Tamriel Empire. So, of course, Tamriel Empire starts here with a lot of land, so you're, it's likely to be a very difficult faction. Now also keep in mind that all the difficulties are all medium. They f are always medium for every single faction. Now there has been issues in the past where if you turn the first faction in the turn order actually is on very hard and everything else is on hard. Um, there has been an issue in the past. So we're going to make sure that it's just going to stay on medium. So that way everyone's ought to resolve. Everyone's chances will be medium as well. And Shardhelm is far to the northwest. You do have a bit of provinces nearby. But you're miles away from each other. It's not really an issue. Yeah, just making sure that. Yeah, because you can't actually turn the uh, the hot seat things already in, so I have to basically um, use the admin password, which you ha I haven't made the admin password for the hot seat yet, so it's completely like different. Um, something I will do is upload a start save sometime around before the hot seat begins officially, so to keep an eye out for that for those joining. Um, so the next, obviously, so I've done the pairings. Obviously, I probably should have done the pairings on here, should I show you as I went? But it's fine. So the Reachman and the Dunma. So House Dress, which is just here. It's a bit hard to see where Dress is, really. So that's, that's probably why I didn't do it. But yeah, Dress and the Reach. So the Clans of the Reach are over here. And Daggerfall. And you've got the Tribes of Black Marsh, miles away from each other, as you can see. Uh, the Ashlanders. And you've got the Kingdom of Wayrest, again, miles from each other. Uh, Evermore. And you've got the Redorans, again, miles away from each other. Uh, Telvani up to the far northeast, and then the Somerset Isles are down here. Now, there are quite a few starting diplomacy I have noticed that do sort of, uh, I would imagine, possibly clash with the video conditions. That's something to note, to note there when you're fighting your enemies. So, at some point, you may have to betray your allies or possibly change your enemies eventually, but um, that's something to watch out for there. They got the Falmore, which is over here, and the Pelotine down there. You got half a up here. I just select them all now. And you got finally the clans of House Indriel. Right, that's everyone. One, two, three. There you go. That's everyone. Right, let's do this. So yeah, so the long campaign. If you click the long option, the long video recognition I find is just ridiculously long to the point where I think most players. We'll be like, yeah, I can't be asked to do all that. So <laughs> I just don't, I'm not going to do that. So I'm not going to put all the pain and suffering for you guys. So just keep that in mind. I'm nice like that. <laughs> Me, after today's recording, I'm going to jump in and play some um, Elder Scrolls. Um, Elder Scrolls? No. That's what I'm doing now. I'm going to play some more Empire Total War, which you would have noticed. And for some that are, you know, interested. Um, the first episode of my Empire Total War campaign is kicking up on this Tuesday. 
So, very soon. So, I'm thoroughly looking forward to showing off the first episode to you. I've done the first episode, ready to record it. So, that's going up on Tuesday. Um, and I am going to record the next video uh, today. So, um, so yeah. And my hope is on Monday when I have a bit of free time, I'm going to go ahead and start sorting out some stuff for my upcoming Erebor campaign. So, the tournament, the last episode of the tournament series was going up on Friday this week. Or, well, yeah, Friday next week, I guess. Uh, is it Saturday today? So next week, Friday, um, is when the last episode of the tournament series is going up. Then the week after that will be the first episode of our like, Erebor campaign. Um, hopefully. <laughs> anyway, Friday night all goes according to plan with the custom generals and whatnot. And uh, that is my hope. But yeah, so I'm thoroughly enjoying my Empire series. I'm looking forward to playing some more after this. So let's hope the Linden screen goes a bit faster. And I have a bit more time to play more of that. So there we go. So the Empire of Tamriel, yeah, we've got everyone selected. So you have 22 factions in the game. So as you can imagine, if I wanted a player for each faction, we would require 22 players. Now this way, we only require 11, which is just much easier to manage. You have the dungeons and alchemy missions and whatnot. Um, so of course, um, that's you can all do in the game. So keep an eye out for that. It's just, uh, no, it's not the, uh, I've used arrow keys. And it's a bit, bit, of, bit of fluff about the Empire and whatnot. So you go. Uh, this is your upcoming. Oh, this is just telling you that everyone's at War of Dungeon Faction. So, your diplomacy for the Tamara Empire, then, as you see, massive starting position. You hold all of Cyrodiil, pretty much. Even some. You've got Helgen, Fort Greymore, got Tullius up here of an army. Serve the Emperor. Serve the Emperor. And protect the <laughs> I've got some lands over there. Up Vale, just near the Durini Tower. Um, and you, yeah, you have quite a big chunk of land in Cyrodiil, apart from, I think, up here, because this is, I think. I have a rebel undead controlled. Uh, your faction leader then is Emperor Titus and me. And you got a bunch of generals. Titus and me being your best general. As well as Tullius. And a bunch of other generals as well. Not to spend ages going for all them. But of course the Imperial City looking absolutely beautiful. I love the Imperial City. It's just the, the look of it is so iconic. And it just looks amazing in this game. I must confess. <laughs> um, so your diplomacy then. Your allied with the hold of Hafinger, Daggerfall, Wayrest, Evermore and Sharnhelm. Chardhound being your, uh, of course, ally. And the, but your, the faction you're also controlling is this faction. Your core staff at war to hold of East March, who staff at war in the uh, uh, the Stormcloak Civil War. And you're at war with the Undead, and the Dungeon Faction and the Minor Factions, basically the Rebels, essentially. I think there's two. There's the Rebel Faction, there's also the Dungeon Faction. I'm not quite sure how they work, really. You have to uh, ask Jadley on that one. <laughs> but in terms of video conditions, then, as the Empire, what is my. Why is my OBS lagging? That's weird. Doesn't normally do that. Um, hopefully the audio should be fine, right? I'm going to quickly pause the recording and come back, I think. I'm going to check. Okay, I don't know why it was doing that, but it seems to be fine now, so <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, I was worried that my audio was like not recording properly. But anyway, this is the course of the map. So as you can see, the map is very, very, very large. To the point where you have to actually load upwards. Now, I have noticed you can have the dungeon region... I'm not quite sure why you as the Empire hold that, but I, you can, I don't know. I probably wouldn't suggest messing with it, but if you want to disband it, go for it. But it's not costing you anything, you only get an extra 197 gold. You also can't build anything, you can get a bit more gold, I suppose. But I assume it's script related, so I just wouldn't bother moving. These guys don't cost you anything, so it's not exactly, you just get an extra 295 gold. And that's basically it, so it's a bit of a bonus, so I guess. Uh, so your video conditions then, so you have to hold 50 regions, which is, as you to control 21, you need to control 30 more, which isn't too bad, providing you don't lose a load. Uh, you have to hold, uh, so you have to, so the region you need to hold, of course, is the Imperial City itself, Falanesti, which I believe, is it down? I'm in the wrong place completely. Uh, is it over here? Ah, there. Falanesti, you have to hold that. Um, Stross Mackay, which is here. You need to take that, and you need to take Windhelm as well. So Windhelm must be yours, and you also must wipe out the whole of East March, so all the Stormcloaks, of course, and the Council of Falmore, which is all of the blue guys. Everything in the blue is your enemy. You must kill them all. So that would be your... So as the Empire, that is your main goal. Kill the Falmore, basically. So that's your video conditions. Uh, there's nothing really else I need to talk to you about. I'm the, uh, I'll jump out of toggle phone now and again. So I'll jump out of that. But uh, so we show the next one off. But as you can see, you can control an awful lot of territories. So yeah, let's jump to the next fashion. Is the hold of Hafinger. 
And I'm going to quickly skip over that and just ignore that quickly when it comes on. Um, but essentially, Torek is dead. He was murdered by... Uh, died peacefully, apparently. But uh, he, he was murdered, as we all know. Oh, slash murdered, slash du duel, per died in personal combat, depending on how you look at it. Uh, of course, your faction leader is Fryn and his, uh, his brother, Forgar. They're your faction leader and faction heir. They are not of age, so right now the best general you have is Kodlak Whitemane. He's basically leading your forces at the moment. Uh, you've got Talius outside in your hand. You've got an army inside of... You've got Morfall, uh, Dragon Bridge with uh, Adventures outside. I got Rorik said, Karth Wason, Morkarf, Markarth, sorry. <laughs> With uh, Jarl Igman inside, Kolak as well. Uh, it's obviously a werewolf as well, so that's pretty cool. And you got White Run, of course, which is a bonus. And of course, you have Fall Grief as well. So your victory conditions then, as I go back into Soul Folk. Um, you need to hold 30 regions. You control 10 at the moment, so you need to take 20 more. You need to destroy, you need to basically take Sol Keep Solitude. Uh, Skull Village, which is up here, and Johanna, which I'm not quite sure where that is off the top of my head. Uh, uh, where is that province? I've never heard that in my life. Um, um, ah, there. Johanna, okay. <laughs> And you have to eliminate the factions of the whole of Eastmark, so you need to defeat the Stormcloaks, obviously. The Clans of Autumn, so you need to defeat the Orcs to and the Reach as well. So the Clans of the Reach must be killed, and the Clans of the Orcs must also be wiped out as well for you to fulfil your victory conditions. I may as well stay in the Toggle, uh, toggle Phobe, uh, not Toggle Phobe, yeah, we could just stay in Toggle Phobe, that's fine. And the next faction is the Clan of the Crowned. Which is, of course, the same. Oh, no, they're dead with the Stormcloak. So these guys will be your enemies. Skyrim. Let's give it up. No, I will go and talk with her because... I captured settlement dungeon, so I mean it's dungeon related. Uh, so you have the Clans of the Crown. So you have your, fa that's your family tree. You hold the city of Hegarth. And you have regions to your east. So you're a bit of a split realm. It's a bit of a challenge for you. And you have a bunch of castles and regions over here. Skaven. I don't know if that's a nod to Warhammer or not. Probably not. Um, and of course, you got um, heading off to the south. Uh, for the for the um, Clan of the Crown, your victory additions are to hold 30 regions, including Sentinel, which is the other city up here. Um, Hegarth, which is your capital. New Orsinium, which is the Orc place. And Stross Mackay, which is the island held by the Isle Mary. So you must also eliminate the factions of the Clan of Forebears and the Clans of Awesome. You need to kill the orcs and kill your other, um, your other red the red rocks no <laughs> red guards over here. You must kill them as well. They are your enemies. Well, actually, you start off allied with them. I didn't actually mention the allies for that, did I? But half and guards start allied with Tamriel and just a war of the East March. Uh, whereas the Clan of the Crown, you start allied with forebears. So basically, the reason you start allied now that's entirely up to you. It's entirely up to you what you want to do with that. You can kill your enemy. You can wipe them out. You can fight them straight away. You can maybe stay allied to fight the Ald Ald Mary to mean That's the reason you're allied to fight the Ald Mary. Um, or you can just betray them or join with the Ald Mary to help kill them, but then get Stross Mackay back or something like that. I don't know. It's entirely up to you, but that's your video conditions. Good luck. Um, so, whole 30 regions. I think that's the standard, is the holding of the 30 regions. You control 6, so you need 24 more. So, it's not too bad. Uh, move on to the forebears who control Sentinel as your capital. Let's go for all that a minute. So this is your family tree, basically the same similar looking faction, uh, family tree as your other, your other um, red guards. Uh, as your clan, so again, same same sort of diplomacy thing, allies with your clan to ground, at war with the same people. Um, so yeah, you start with a sentinel, you've got super regions down here. You also have Darkfron, Dakfron, sorry, you have Tanef and Ava's Landing, which is this whole big region here. And some region a bit further off into the east, just bordering the Tamriel Empire. So, yeah. Um, uh, your video conditions, then, I imagine will be quite similar. Uh, oh, slightly different. So, hold t there only you need to hold 20 regions this time. So, region draw 8 to hold 20 regions, including Sentinel, which is the capital. Uh, Tanif, which is... Just there. Uh, let's trust Mackay, Betany, which I'm not quite sure what Betany is. Is it one of the regions we hold, actually? Mm. No. 
I'm not going to go through and find out where they are, but it's just, uh, yeah, you should just be able to find that yourselves. Uh, eliminate the factions of Kingdom of Evermore, which is a faction further east of you. Um, Clown of Crown and the Clowns of Osma as well. So you have to know your victory conditions. So another faction to kill, but then you have to take 10 less regions um, than your other the other Red Guards. So that's the, the Clown of the Forebears. Uh, moving on to the next faction, the Kingdom of Daggerfall. Oh, I feel like I leveled up there. I have leveled up to the next faction. <laughs> I love that little end. I love the end of the turn thing. It's so cool. I really must do a campaign of this at some point, which I think I think maybe that might be the next one after that, could possibly. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, this is your family tree again. Very standard stock standard, basically. <laughs> it's not massively different to any others. But you hold off quite a few regions, so Bethany. Um, actually, Bethany, was that the place? Oh, that's the place you have to take as the other, other faction of the Clan Crown. So you have to take this island, which is interesting. Um, Glen Point, Daggerfall, and you start off with basically in the southern, southwestern corner of the High Rock Peninsula up here. So, yeah. And some of you have been keeping news with the, of course, um, the uh, Elder Scrolls 6. Then it is meant to be in High Rock, which is where your bit is, the game is being sent. So, that is a huge region, High Rock. A lot, it basically starts from about here, I think, um, into the west. Depends if they count a bit of Hammerfall, but Hammerfall's just down here. So basically all this is all high rock over down here. So it could be a massive map. So that's probably why it's taking so long to make it. Let's just hope it's not too much of a letdown like Starfield has been, has proven to be. <laughs> um, in terms of diplomacy, Daggerfall is allied with the Emperor of Tamriel. All the high rock kingdoms are. And your enemies are the undead. So yeah, interesting start position. You start basically miles away. But you do have the potential problem of the Red Guards. But they're probably too focused, busy fighting themselves. So don't worry about that. Uh, you start with six regions, your five generals, your faction leader, and a bunch of other generals as well. The air, of course, and your admiral. In terms of the traditions, then, you have six regions. You need to hold 20 regions. You need to take Daggerfall, which is yourself, New Orsinium, Stross Mackay, which is a quite a distance away, actually, uh, Bethany, which is that region there, and you have to eliminate the factions of the Kingdom of Sharnhelm. So that could indirectly put you at war with the Empire of Tamriel as well. But you have to kill Sharnhelm, and you must defeat the Clans of Orsma as well. A lot of people like to kill the, the orcs, so sorry orcs. <laughs> you guys seem to get me getting hit a lot lately, don't you? Jesus. <laughs> so that's Daggerfall. I move on to the next faction, which is the Kingdom of Wayrest. Now, the Kingdom of Wayrest, interestingly enough, actually start off with not Wayrest, because Wayrest has been taken... I don't know if it mentioned it here or not. Uh, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure Corsairs have taken Wayrest in the fourth era. Um, so you need to retake it, but it's not going to be easy. You don't currently have the military to really beat them. Um, unless you're really good at fighting the AI, then you might be able to defeat them. Depends how good you are. But obviously you can't sally them out. You can't like um, fight defensively. So you have to fight them aggressively to win. Otherwise, the AI in all result will just ultimately decimate your army and you'll be screwed. So Because <laughs> you, you can't defend yourself in or hot seats, I'm afraid. Uh, and that's just how the game works. Um... So this is your family tree, basically very similar to most other ones. I've noticed that, of course, a lot of people seem to be called the kings with the letter E. You have two generals, you don't have a lot of stuff as way rest. You just have Galvadon, or Gavadon, I think, and you have to basically take back your home um, and whatnot, which is quite interesting. Interesting start. Uh, way rest, again, same uh, sort of diplomacy. You start with two regions. Two regions? Am I missing one? Um. Oh, right. Oh, I see. Okay, so <laughs> I don't know what happens there, but for some reason the Tamriel Empire... Bring order and civilization. <laughs> that's really weird. So it just changes to each player. I don't know if that's... That's weird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so obviously it changes. So what I might do possibly pull a hot seat start to delete this army. Um, and Jadley, please advise me now if that's a bad idea or not, but I just don't really want... Because you could... I, the problem is this army, you can't do anything with them, so... It doesn't really matter, whatever, I'll just, I'll just leave it. <laughs> Alright, shut up, Emperor. Um, your video edition then is the whole 20 regions, including where... I mean, that probably counts as a one, but I don't think it... If it changes every turn, no, I don't really know. Whatever. Just ignore that one. <laughs> but I guess if it counts as a video edition, I guess it counts, but... Yeah, whatever, we'll see. Um, so you have to obviously you have to hold twenty regions, include Wayrest, New Orsinium, and Stross Mackay. You have to eliminate the factions Daggerfall and Orsama. So you need to take out Daggerfall and the Orcs to the east. Everyone seems to gun for the Orcs. The poor Orcs just really getting what for, aren't they? In any other game, 
Yeah. That should be the conditions. Uh, moving on to the Kingdom of Sharnhelm, which goes allied with the Tamriel Empire. I'm just going to click through that. Go away. Uh, your family tree is a little bit different. You have a king, a factionaire, and you also have someone else who was around before. I think must have died in the Great War from the time... Oh, no, hang on. One, eight, one, no, three, third era. So, hang on. Third era. Hang on, what? Uh, no, I think because they don't change the eras, haven't they? No, I don't think that's changed, so that's fine. So, yeah, he probably died in the Great War, I, I would assume. Uh, so, the Kingdom of Sharnhelm, and yes, it does seem to change every faction. I guess that's really weird. Um, whether or not that will count, I might possibly put a little thing in the rule saying that doesn't count as a resettlement. So, just because you couldn't, because you don't get it through fighting, you have to get it through an event, or a SRAM event. So, I might class that as not part of the reconditions. You have to take another region or something like that. Uh, but Sean, Sean Helm, which is your capital city, and your faction is called Sean Helm. You also have an extra general as well. Um, so your diplomacy then, very similar again to most other High Rock factions. Your video conditions again, quite similar, but you have to kill different factions. So whole 20 regions, take Sean Helm, Evermore, which is the capital city of the Kingdom of Evermore. Um, New Orsinium again, Stross Mackay as well, so you all have to get down to the south. And possibly take that region. Again, you can buy that by any other means. You can probably buy it off the Hub Mary if they want. If you can sell it to them, probably. Um, you sell to Svan or your men, but one. But uh, you can buy it off them, I guess. Or you just conquer it off by right of conquest. Um, then make your factions of Evermore, Awesome, and the Clans of the Reach. So you have a bit of a, uh, I guess, a distaste for the Reachmen in the East. But uh, that's your big conditions. Good luck. Uh, move on to the next faction. There's the Kingdom of Evermore themselves. I'll just click through all this. I like the little, um, I think Evermore's in, um, the Reach expansion, not expansion, but the Reach, uh, mod for, um, Skyrim. But yeah, I love the look, I do really like the look of this settlement, it's really cool. The, it's very defensible, like, he's got a bunch of, like, wards, and then all the time. I hope it has a, uh, custom battle map, uh, map, actually, that'd be really cool. I think some of them do. Um, so this is the Kingdom of Evermore, your family tree again, one who also perished in the Great War, I assume. And you got your fam, your faction leader, faction heir, basically the exact same as everyone else. Uh, you control Evermore and the Scourge Barrow as well, which is a nice addition. And your vid conditions are pretty, uh, very similar. Um, whole 20 regions, including Evermore, Wayrest, you have to take Wayrest, uh, which could put you up War of the Kingdom of Wayrest as well. And New Orsinium and Stross Mackay. So you have to eliminate the factions of the Clans of Awesome and the Clans of the Reach. So it's basically fighting the Orcs and the Reachmen is your main goal. As uh, so evermore, but obviously keep in mind that other factions are you are part of their video edition, so for Sharnhelm, they can target you. So keep an eye out for them. <laughs> so your borders from the west probably aren't safe. So yeah. Uh, next faction ends the whole of East March. And of course oh hang on, we'll get to him in a second. Ah. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Alright, I get it. Alfred Stormcloak, who is your faction leader? And he has a son, Prince Garthar. I don't remember him being the law. Maybe he is. Or maybe he's just giving input into the game for to give you an actual faction heir, maybe. Got Galmar down here. Iverstead with uh, Head Smasher. Got uh, Rayloff inside. I think it was Hadfar with the Empire. I can't quite remember. I didn't look properly. Oh, oh well. <laughs> Let me know if you, someone can find Hadvar. But yeah, there's your regions there. And you also have Fort Dunstan. Oh, I love the music. Love this game. I need to play. I need to play this game at some point for the well, I say game mod <laughs> for Medieval Two, so I need to play it at some point. It's just uh, it's definitely on the bucket list of things to do. Uh, your diplomacy then for the the whole of East March, you are at war with the Tamriel Empire and the Storm and the uh, whole of Halfinger. So you your first point of call, as I would advise for the Storm play, is to get alliances in early doors straight away. <laughs> get your alliances in with the Dunmer, anyone you can, because the Empire will apps and the whole of East March uh, West uh, East March. Um, half ago, sorry, will absolutely overrun you in the in moments. So you need to fight very well as the Stormcloaks. It's not an easy campaign. Uh, your video conditions then is to hold 30 regions, including Solitude. So you need to retake Solitude. The Imperial City, getting down there is going to be very hard, but the Imperial City is your video conditions and the Skull Village as well. You're, as you might expect, you have to eliminate the Empire of Tamriel and the Hold of Halfinger. Good luck. Uh, move on to the Council of the Falmore, which start off quite powerful, as you can see. And so I just level up to level whatever it is now. Alright, go for all that. Uh, you can recruit Bosman units and Valenwood, which I would just... Um, uh, which I'm going to say you can accept that, that's fine. Um, I don't... you know, that's fine. <laughs> I'm not going to restrict that. Um, 
So the Council of the Falmor then. Your diplomacy is the kingdom, your allied with the Kingdom of Valenwood, the Kingdom of Palatine, and the Kingdom of Anaquina. So you allied both the Khajiit factions and the Kingdom of Valenwood in the centre here. However, your victory conditions, you're not allied, of course, with the guys down here. But your victory conditions, you also notice as well, you don't start off with... This is actually a uh, rebel. Uh, your family tree then is again very similar. Uh, High Kinlord Falcar is your faction leader and Ancano is your heir. Um, now, I'm similar to Dak, I'm not quite sure if, of course, your if you're, I imagine it's probably a case of your guys will die of old age as normal. Um, I don't know if there's anything in place to make them live longer or possibly or make them so it respawns when they die or something like that. I'm not really sure. Not sure if that's a thing. Uh, anyway, social faction leader and faction heir. Your diplomacy then, I have to go for that. You're at war with no one else. Uh, so your video conditions, you start off with 22 regions. So you need to take, uh, what's that? 18 more. No. Yes, 18 more regions you need to take to win the game. So you have to hold 40 regions, including Alanor, which is the city down here. So you must take Alanor, Falanesti, which is the region over here, as we saw earlier. I'm not sure why Falanesti is so like, valuable, but I <laughs> will. Uh, Cloud Rest as well, which is your capital city. Um, and the Imperial City itself, as well as holding Stross Mackay. So, and your victory editions, who you actually kill, is as you might expect, the Empire of Tamriel. And that's uh, <laughs> that's very much uh, their, own, that's their goal as well. So you have that. So you basically will fight one another. It's inevitable you will fight one another. You can't just ally with each other, I'm afraid. Sorry. <laughs> um, and also, your victory editions for killing factions is the High Kingdom of Somerset Isles, which is down here. Which you've got to take their capital city, so it can't make sense. So you've got to fight them at some point, so that'd be an interesting fight. A bit one side because the kind kingdom on Somerset Isles didn't start with a lot. So how that will go, I don't quite know. But I imagine whoever the hell's playing us down there needs to fight very well if they want to have any chance in hell of killing um of course killing Eleanor. Of killing of standing against the Aldmeri Dominion. And your other faction you need to kill is the Kingdom of Valenwood, so at some point you must betray your allies. So, Valenwood and Somerset Isles starts in a very difficult position. Um, so, it's not going to be an easy one for you guys, that's for sure. So, keep an eye on So, uh, it's up to you if you keep your alliances. You can betray them. They might betray you. You might betray them. They might decide, you know, we'll stay allied until we defeat the Empire and then we'll fight one another later on. It's up to you. Um, that's the Council of Falmore. There you go. Um, something I will do as well. I probably will make it. I don't know if I will. I probably didn't like the final sort of like when it comes to the. Uh, dishing out who's got what factions and whatnot. I will make sure that the anyone that's a veteran player or I, I know from heart very good at the game, I will probably not allow them to take big factions. They will only get the smaller factions that I can put in. If you're quite a newer player, then I probably would urge you to play as bigger factions. Um, but in the, like a big faction in the hands of, I'm going to use you as an example, Jimmy, sorry. But Jimmy, dude, in the hands of the Almeria Dominion, as well as the other faction, which was the one of the Khajiits, um, he could be absolutely the most powerful guy in the entire hot seat, and he would absolutely wreck everybody in the world. So generally, I don't really want them. If you're a veteran player, um, I would urge you to choose another faction. I would probably will sign you to a smaller faction anyway, because I know uh, veterans in, veterans and big factions equals winning the hot seat very easily uh, for them. And I think it's just a massive disadvantage for everyone else. So we'll make sure that's a thing. Uh, so yeah, that's the Falmore. Uh, moving on to the High Kingdom of the Somerset Isles, who do have another region as well, but it's not garrison, so keep an eye on that. Let's go for all. Let's give me a minute. Go away, go away, go away, go away. <laughs> that's right, it, it doesn't give me loads and loads of events, that's handy. Uh, so, yeah, your fa family tree then. You have a faction leader and you have two sons. One is your heir and one isn't. So, yeah. And you start with Alanor and you start off with uh, Relenfil to the. Uh, is it Relen? Relenfil, yeah. And you also have the undead down there as well to watch out for. <laughs> uh, the Somerset Isles then has no allies. They are just at war with the undead. But with the video conditions pointing you towards maybe the Aldmeri, watch out for them. In terms of the, your video conditions then, you have to hold 40 regions. So that's a big, massive jump. <laughs> um, so you have to control 40 regions. Um, you have to include, which is Alan Rue City, Cloud Rest, you need to fight the Dominion. Uh, Stross Mackay, and you have to defeat the Foul One. That's your main bit of conditions. You're basically in the Civil War, but you're not at war with each other. 
the Falmer, I think I'd seem inclined to let the Somerset Isles live in my head canon. But I, I imagine obviously war is gonna definitely come to for you guys. So the so High Elf and a High Elf will fight one another to assert domina domination over these Somerset Isles. So that'll be interesting to see. But that's that. Good luck. Uh, moving on to, to the Kingdom of Valonwords. I'm just going for the million different pop-ups. I like that one. I love the little words. It, it remind me a bit of Lothlorien and the Woodland Realm with their um, custom server models. Uh, there are a few, like, I think there's a few events. I'm not quite sure how they work, but I imagine there's a few with the Wild Hunt you can do. And there's a few with the Dawn Guard, Vampires, and various other things. I think possibly the Mayhem there might appear as well. Anyway. The Kingdom of Valenwood. Is your family tree then? You've got your father, I think, must have perished either during the Great War or around that period. Uh, you have a faction leader, King Aragor, and his brother, Prince Aphamel, who is your heir. He's actually quite disloyal, so watch out for him. <laughs> Don't trust him and command your bigger armies. Um, so yeah, you start with five regions. You have Elden Root, which is your family, which you can't actually... So getting that here, you have to go around the whole thing. So you're quite like in the mountains and valleys, which is quite cool. And like you can't go through certain forests. I quite like that. I think that's quite cool. That's a like thing I quite I quite support the idea. Um, anyway, so your video conditions then is you have to hold thirty regions. Uh, so you ho currently hold five. So you need twenty five more. Uh, you need to hold Farnesti, which is this region here. Sylvanar, which is there. Uh, Elden Root and Greenheart. Do you hold that, or is that one of the ones? So you have to conquer. I think it is one of one you have to conquer. Uh, Greenheart and Strossmachai. Everyone likes to take Strossmachai. I don't know why that's so heavy on the few conditions, but there you go. Um, and Mistral. Which. Uh, Greenheart's there. Uh, I'm not sure where Mistral is. Uh, it's fine. It's not mine. It's not red. I'm not red. Uh, your video conditions then is the limited the factors of the Anaquina and the Council of the Falmore. So you will need to fight Anaquina, which is the ones you're not joining with. You actually join Pelotine. So. That's something to watch out for. And also just to note as well, it has to be, so with the pairings as well, it has to be, so if, for example, your video editions are to take Stross Mackay, you have to take Stross Mackay as this faction. You can't just take it as, say, Pelotine, for example, and say, yeah, well, I've got the region. Well, no, your faction doesn't. So your faction, the faction you're controlling has to hold Stross Mackay. Now, if there are a few issues where, say, for example, Stross Mackay needs to be hold, held by both of the same, like, say, for example... Uh, say for example, Valenwood and Pertime both need to hold it, and no, I'll just let one of you hold it, it doesn't matter. Um, as long as one of you hold it, that's fine. It's not the end of the world. But obviously you can't just say, you can't just claim it's another faction and say, well, I've won the game because I've got, or well, I've not won the game, but I've, I've got Stross Mackay so that I win the video conditions for this faction. No, that faction has to hold it. it can't, you can't just nick it, I'm afraid. It <laughs> Sorry. Say, so, yeah, well, I've got it. No, you haven't. Because you don't hold, the faction that, you're, the faction that has to take it doesn't hold it, so you're not getting it. So yeah, uh, video conditions then, obviously you need to defeat the Kingdom of Anaquina and the Council of the Falmore. So as you start allied with the Falmore, um, it's inevitable you will probably fight one another eventually. The next faction then is the Kingdom of Pelotine. When I finish levelling up, I'll carry on. You done? There you go. So the Kingdom of Pelotine, your family tree then, very similar to most others, fashionally the fashion there, generally quite the same, similar similar stuff. <laughs> so the Pelotine rule the southern part of elsewhere, so down here with the Horv Colossus, uh, Dolvuk, and quite a few provinces in the south. Um, Pelotine, of course, I put the Almeri in the hot seat. So you've got six regions, you take 20, no, sorry, um, 14 more. <laughs> so you need to hold 20 regions, Torval. Must be taken, which... Is that... I don't know where Torval was. Where is Torval? Ignore that top, but I don't know what that is. Oh. Uh, oh, there. Which is held by a bunch of massive <laughs> rebel army. Jesus. Uh, you have to hold the Imperial City. Now, because the Al Mary also need to hold the Imperial City, it doesn't matter who takes it, so either one of you has to control the Imperial City. Then that's fine. <laughs> so one of you has to hold it. Um, Elden Root. So you have to take out the Vanmud region. Uh, and Mistral as well. And you have to limit the fact in the Empire of Tamriel. And the Kingdom of Valenwood as well. Which is a goal you'll share with your allies in the Sunset Isles. So yeah. That's them. <laughs> as I say, Corinth is your capital. 
Uh, this region's held by the Tam the Albemary, so you can either get that back or by buying it or just uh, figuring out a deal to get it back <laughs> if you wanted to. But it's not really, not it's not a part of your food rotation, so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, but that's the Kingdom of Palatine. Moving on to the next one then, which is the Anaquina. Well, Anaquina, Dune is your capital city. <laughs> not related to the planet Dune in any way. Just to go through all that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kingdom of yeah, that, that, yeah, whatever, cool. Yeah, cool. Anyway, Kingdom of Anaquina, who are your allied with Valenwood? Actually, wasn't there two actually at both at War of Valenwood? Ah. <laughs> what I might... Actually, did I do that? Is there a Khajiit at War of... Um... Let me just double check. If not, I'll change it off camera. Yes, there is. So what I'll do is I'll say, because Anaquina and Valenwood are allied, what I'll do is I'll knock off the... You don't have to kill Valenwood to win the game. You just have to kill the Emperor of Tamriel. So I just I just knocked that off completely as your video conditions. <laughs> if, if I forget to do that, just let me know and I'll change that. So, but yeah, generally Anaquina, there'd be like a little clause in the rules somewhere where Anaquina, um, to fulfill your short video recruitment, apart from, uh, apart from certain factions, so say for Anaquina, won't have to kill Valenwood because you're allied. So, yeah. Uh, other than that, then your, three, your whole 20 regions, including Torval, um, the Imperial City. Uh, Torval, I think, is actually... Where is that? Is Torval the place? Is that the other region down here, actually? Yeah. Yeah, it's that one. That's fine. Okay. So that's... Oh, I don't know why that's still there, but that's fine. Don't know. Ignore that. Can I close that down? I have no idea. <laughs> Some, it's the uh, new, like, uh, engine overhaul thing. I don't really understand. Um, Kingdom of Anaquina then, who start off allied with Pelotine and Thalmor. Uh, Pelotine start off the same alliance sort of thing. Uh, did the... Um... Yeah, Thalmor start off allied with them. So you have to fight them eventually. So they would make it killed off in this little alliance. Um, so yeah. So your big traditions then, so you, you take the Empire of Tamriel, Kingdom of Valenwood, no, it won't be for this, but that, that's what it is in the game. Uh, I will take a, put a clause in there saying Valenwood don't need to be killed off because you're allied with them, it doesn't matter, you're not going to kill each other. That's just stupid. <laughs> yeah, the whole 20 regions, so 15 more, Torval, Imperial City, Elven Root, Mistral, and uh, I'll take out the ones that involve possibly... Oh, I hate this bloody thing, go away. It's just in my way. Um, so any ones that involve like places where Valenwood are or anything to do with them, I'll just knock the officer clause. So you, you don't have to fight them, basically. Um, I don't know why... If I go toggle photo, they get rid of the thingy. Stop doing that. No, okay. Why not just stay there then? As long as it doesn't get in the way, that's fine. Um, so Anaquina, that's your conditions. Move on to the next one then. You have the clans of Orsinium, who hold three regions, Dustin, Yao, New Orsinium, and Morkazga. You need to hold the regions to the east. Just get rid of that, get rid of that. Right, we're done. Clans of Orsinium. You do have a family tree, you have a basic Teutonic, so you're basically have a good fight. Cool. Um, you change over, for, so basically you Whoever the hell's the better general becomes the fashion there usually. Sometimes what happens, I've noticed, is that they actually get skipped over to the next general. So keep an eye on that. Anyway, New Orsinium, which is your new province, because the old Orsinium was destroyed. I can't remember how it was destroyed, but it was destroyed. So you have three uh, generals to start off with, and your video conditions then. So your diplomacy, sorry. Um, you start off with uh, at War of the Undead, and you're allied with no one else. Um, so, Victor Editions then, you're basically you need to take 30 regions, uh, including Orsinium itself. Uh, Dragonstar, so which is like, down there somewhere. Uh, Evermore, so you can take the Evermore capital city. Faroon, Faroon, <laughs> sounds a bit like something out of uh, Lord of the Rings, doesn't it? And you have to limit the faction to the whole of Harfinger, Evermore, the Clan of the Crowns, and the Clans of the Reach. So, you're no friends to the Clans of the Reach. You're no friends to Evermore, you're no friends to the Clan of the Crown, and no friends to the whole of Harfinger. So, very hard start. I definitely, if, if Jimmy wants to join, I'll give him this faction. <laughs> These guys are much harder. <laughs> All the clans are rich, they're really hard. Um, so generally, some factions are advised to be for veterans. So again, I would look at each of the starting positions before, first before ch choosing the faction, uh, just so you're absolutely certain of your choice. Uh, tribes of Black Marsh. Now, the Tribes of Black Marsh have very interesting diplomacy. 
You start off at war with... Ah, go away. I wish I could just disable this happening in the hot seat. It's so annoying. Alright, fine. Done. You done? There you go. So the tribes of Black Marsh start off at war with all of the, of the Dunmer Morrowind factions. That's what it's the under. So you start off all, at war with all of them. So it's such a difficult position. You don't have a family tree. You just have a bunch of generals. And they just become your faction leader uh, after one dies, basically. So you have a bunch of generals. You start off with uh, 11 regions. You start off with the control. Oh, bugger off. <laughs> so annoying. You start off with a lot of territory. So you're quite powerful. And which is good because you're fighting the entire Morrowind. So good luck. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically your goal. Um, we have to take out the Black the Black Marsh is basically mostly under your control, apart from a few regions that have gone Rebel or Hell by the Undead, or maybe some that have been taken by the Dunmo to the north. So yeah. Um, so your video conditions then you have to hold 30 regions, which is not too bad. You need to take 19 more. Uh, you have to include Hellstrom, which is your capital city. Uh, Mournhold, some of these I'm not going to go through, but Mournhold, Narciss, Blacklight, Port Telvanus, and you need to eliminate the factions of Great House Telvani, Redoran, Dress, Tribes of Ashdans, Inderil. So basically your campaign is essentially take keep hold of your regions, reconquer the lands of uh, your Black Marsh, and kill the Dunma, basically. That is essentially your goal, and take a bunch of the regions. That is your goal. So, good luck. It's not an easy faction. I'd say even even I think a veteran, I think we struggle with this. Because you have to fight all these factions in the north. And I think it's quite hard. However, there are some some Dunman that might fight each other. And you'll see why later on. But that's the Black Marsh. Very big faction. But again, facing the big war from the forces of Morrowind to the north. So keep an eye on, keep an eye on your northern borders, that's for sure. Uh, move on to the Dunma then. You have the Great House, Redoran. As I click through all these different little pop-ups until they go away. Go away, go away, go away, <laughs> go away, go away, go away. Right, there you go. <laughs> so, Great House Redoran, your family tree, very stand, stock stand again. Your regions, you have 12 regions. Your diplomacy is your allied, but basically, I think that's the exact same every single faction. You're allied to all of the different factions of uh, Morrowind, and you have to fight Black Marsh. They're your enemies. So, yeah, pretty bad. It's the same for everyone. You've got Black Light, you've got Raven Rock, you've got a bunch of Jutsu. Redoran's quite a big faction. You've got a bunch of regions all down this west coast and the borders of the ruins here where I've been hit by the volcano going off and a bunch of regions down here as well. So Mournhold, that's the other one you need to take. So yeah. Uh, big conditions then. So, uh, so you need to hold 20 regions, you hold 12, so you need to take 8 more, which isn't too bad at all. Um, which is Hellstrom. Uh, Black Light, your capital. Where's Hellstrom again? I missed that. I think that's the... Oh, isn't that the one in the... That's the capital, isn't it, in, in Black Marsh? And you have to eliminate the factions of Black Marsh. So it's pretty simple. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, move on to House Inderil. House Inderil starts off with one settlement. So you, have, so you have a bit of a hard position there. Let's go for all that. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Again, diplomacy is the exact same. So I need to go for that again. Yeah, 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 whatever. Obviously, Great House Dagoth is dead at this point. So if anyone wondering where the hell they are, they were all killed off during the whole... Um, they were all killed off during the events of um, Morrowind slash, and Oblivion as well. Um, yeah, I think when they killed in the Morrowind game... I've never played Morrowind, so I don't actually know. But I think they were killed off during then, I think. But So yeah, they're all dead, by the way. And the if they weren't already dead, the Volcano definitely saw to the end of that. So I think the volcano happened after the events. So that's hence why everything looks to be like mortal at the moment. <laughs> um, so Iran and Kilburn. Sarah, why do you say Sarah? That's kind of scary. But yeah, Iran. I think I don't know what your faction leader's title is, but apparently it's just Iran. So I'm just rolling that. Uh, Lord of the Tribunal. So I just call him Lord, I suppose. So yeah, Inderil. Then you have a different, slightly different sort of. Um, so obviously you need to hold your settlement off friends. And Mournhold, which is over here. So at some point, either by war, you need to take Mournhold back, either as a invasion, uh, maybe betraying your allies, or possibly buying it off them. So that's something you need to do. And also, while you need to hold 20 regions, you have one, minus the region up there. So you need to take 19 regions. <laughs> um, and you also need to take kill the tribes of Black Marsh and the tribes of Ashlanders, which is the other Morrowind faction you're allied with. So eventually, the Morrowind faction of the Ashlanders may have to be betrayed. 
Likely because they worship the Daedric cults. That's probably why. That's 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 likely that's a likely reason why the reason why they're uh, um, why they why they probably don't like them want to kill them because they worship the Daedra. So yeah, fair enough. Um, so that's the Great House Indoril then. Pretty cool. And the Great House Telvani, which I quite like these guys. He's like the mage, the sort of wizards, mushroom guys, basically. <laughs> so I'm gonna describe them. That's so wrong. I'm going to hurry up and finish this off because I want to move on and do some recording later. And I've got, I want to play Empire. I'm running out of time. My girlfriend's going to be home before I even get any, get the chance to record anything. So I'm going to hurry the hell up and speed through this. Hell Stelvani, that's your family tree. So you got one per character, Neloth, and then you got a bunch of other generals as well. Uh, Great Hell Stelvani then. So you got eight regions. You start with quite a fair few regions. Most of them are on islands. So like Necrom's on the mainland. And how... Yeah, it's on the mainland. And you've got a few, like, sort of scattered out in regions. Some are, like, on the borders of... Um, you can't get to this region, by the way. I'm just, just pointing out. Just in case anyone tries to. You can't get to it because it's, like, all cut off by mountains. So you can't get to it at all. Unless you cheat the character over there in another game, actually. But that's, you can't in this, obviously. And you've got a few more regions around here as well. And you also hold the other east, southeastern region of um, Solsfime. Or oh, Solsfime. Is it Solsfime or Solsfame? I don't know. No idea. You can correct me in the comment section. <laughs> uh, so Telvani then. So you have a couple. Your video editions says hold 20 regions. You need 12 more. Uh, Port Telvanus is your capital city. Uh, yeah, capital C. Uh, Sadrif Mora, which I think is one of your region. No, maybe, possibly. Yeah, there no, it is. Uh, Hellstrom, which is the region down here. I've gone past it. This region. Where's it gone? Where's Hellstrom going? I thought I saw it earlier. No idea. Doesn't matter. <laughs> and Mordhold as well. So you have to like buy it off them at some point. Uh, Victory Regions is to eliminate the factions of the tribes of Black Marsh. You guessed it. So that's your goal. <laughs> uh, next one is Great House Dress. So we jump through all those different options. Who hold, as you can see, quite a few regions down going from the north to the southern bit. Go away. Go away. Wild Hunt. What are we playing? The Witcher. <laughs> Speaking of Witch King, that's coming out soon. Uh, not not soon, but it's still in development, though. So that looks cool when it comes out. Uh, so the Great House Dress. Uh, Great House Dress start need to take hold 20 regions. Tia, which is... Is that one of the summons? No. So you take Tia, Tia, Monhold, Hellstrom, and you have to kill the tribe of Black Marsh. So very similar to everyone in fashion. I mean, it's just Indril. I think they have to kill... Um, I think the um What is it, Sarah? I can already tell. No, I can't get I'm not going to like this. Okay. Uh Indril, um I think the only faction has to kill the Black Marsh tribes, unfortunately. <laughs> Which is annoying, but there you go. Annoying for them, but that's that's the uh, that's the way of it. They don't like you, so then they kill you, so they see you as Daedric worshippers, so they're gonna murder you, so there you go. That's your family tree, very similar to everything else, and that's your video additions. Good luck. Uh, moving on to the tribes of the Ashlanders, and let's go for all the million events. You have quite a few regions. You've got a couple of regions up there. The Ruins of Tel Vos. Go away, go away, go away. Another place over there. Basically, you hold a lot of the regions around where the volcanoes erupted. And you've also got a few regions just down here as well, which you've made some ground into. And you have a few places in forts as well. We still give you free upkeep, unfortunately. But you have quite a few regions, seven regions. And you'll have Dead of a Family Tree. It's just a basic sort of Teutonic thing where whoever the hell... Someone dies, it just goes to the next leader. Air, and it goes round in a circle. Uh, your finished regions then is to hold 20 regions, including Mournhold, Narsis, Hellstrom. Eliminate factions, tribes of Black Marsh as well as Great House Indra. You start right next to them. So you could easily betray your allies right now. Or you could possibly... Uh, or maybe stick with them for now, but then betray them later. But eventually you will have to fight each other. You have no choice. That is that's the victory conditions. You either you if you don't fight each other, you just won't win. So there you go. <laughs> Which I suppose people can do if they don't want to, but they just won't win the game. So it's up to you. Um, so it's your victory conditions, and move on to the last one is the clans of the reach. And I can finally give my finger a rest from clicking all these buttons. Give me a second. So as you can see, you start with three regions: Cloud Spring, Dun Lane, and you have Fort Sunguard to the south. When the game's finished, going for the invention, all the different things. Yada, 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 yeah. Cool. Seven blessings. Bugger off. Anyway. 
you have Mad Max, so you do so he's pretty crap. And <laughs> like generally he's really shit. Um so he has Terran, no authority, no dread, one command. So Mad Max is not very great at all. Whether or not that's intentional, I don't quite know, but I don't know. Um interesting you you get um undead as your uh, some of your units as well, which is quite interesting. And of course, of course you get mammoths, which is uh, I would use them wisely. Very very not very the stats compared to mammoths compared to what they used to be in save for Dak with the Mumakil, very different. But then again, Mammoths are meant to be a lot smaller uh, than compared to Mumakil. You also have a couple of generals in the northwest. And you also have Worm Cult Warlocks, who are very good in auto resolve and very good uh, in battle and manual battle as well. <laughs> so that's good something to definitely make use of there, definitely. So yeah. Uh, so the Reach are definitely a very hard faction. I may possibly, if anyone, the guy, whoever wants to play these guys, let me know if you want me to change the stats here and I might maybe make them a little bit better just to give you a bit of a chance because he's really crap. <laughs> maybe a bit more authority and a bit more commands to make him stand up a bit more because right now he is just pretty shite, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, but anyway, that's Fort Sun Gods. You have three regions. Your victory conditions then is quite a lot. So you have to hold 35 regions. So the clans are each. As a faction, I'd give to Francisco, actually, if he ever wants to play. Um, so he needs to hold 35 regions. He needs to take 31 regions. Uh, 33, sorry. Oh, no. I'm counting that. I'm getting confused. Do you know what? This is not right. It's just it's, 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 it's. Um, So you need to take Dunlane, which is the place up the northwest. Uh, Evermore, Daggerfall, Wagereth, Shornhelm, New Orsinium, Solitude, Markov, Ellen here, Dragonstar... And you have to eliminate the factions East March, Hafinger, Daggerfall, Wayrest, Shonhelm, Evermore, Forebears, Crowned, Awesomer. You have to kill a lot of factions, basically. Most of all of Skyrim needs to be yours. High Rock needs to be yours. A part of Hammerfell needs to be yours. And the Orcs need to be dead as well. So generally, you should kill a lot of people. So the, the Reachmen are going to be in a very hard start. So generally, if you're a veteran, then I'd probably say this, this is a faction for you. But I would, good luck. Yeah, I've got 50,000 um, 50, gold, so you've got a bit of an advantage there. There's your advantage. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but that is it. Other than the undead, and which is all AI, so you don't have to worry about them. They're just AI factions. But that is all for now. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'm going to go off and record some Empire. I hope you guys are looking forward to the hot seat as I am as well to admin it. And I will see you in the Discord soon, hopefully. Um, but yeah, for those that just want to spectate, you're more than welcome to come and join to spectate. But if you are keen to jump in and get involved, then please do. Anyone is welcome. But that is all for now. I thank you for watching, and I shall see you later on. Uh, well, uh, so, well, actually, I'll see you in the uh, Jon Snow video later this week uh, on Monday, and then the Empire video on Tuesday. Uh, on Tuesday. And then I'm going to record another episode because I'm really in I'm enjoying it. But anyway, that is all for now. I hope you guys are have in are, are looking forward to the hot seat as I am, and I hope you guys hope this little overview of the mod and generally the victory conditions have helped as well. Um, more of the rules will come in time. Just stay tuned for that. But I'm busy with other stuff, so generally give me two weeks and I'll get it sorted out. I'm also going back to work next week, so my time is going to decrease shortly. I've been off for a week, so I've had a lot of great time. Um, but uh, now it's sadly coming to an end. I'm back to work Tuesday. Uh, I am I'm off again on Wednesday, so I've got a bit of time. I'm working four days, and then and, uh, so on after then. <laughs> but that's all for now. Thank you for watching, and farewell.